when you see the story, you'll see um, that there are similarities between these two characters that aren't obvious at the beginning, and you know, then they then then they they realize how much they have in common. And as we wrote it, you know, it's about a kid and a monster, you know, and the and the you know. You know, for various reasons, the monster gets in the truck, and then they have this thing where there's a kid driving a truck that's a monster and a truck. And but you know, it, it sounds sillier than it is. And and the reason that it works is because these two characters are both trying to find a way home. Meredith is Jane Levy, and um, you know. Part of it is just is, is the writing and the uh, uh, and the chemistry between these these two. You know, you can call Meredith's character a little bit of a sidekick to um, to uh, Tripp's character, but but it only works if it's more of a two-hander, if it's a yin and yang, if it's a balance together, and watch these two characters go through. Um, Jane used to say, "No, I get it. I'm 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 Samwise Gamgee." You know, and and uh, you know, I'm there to support, and I'm there to give advice. You know, I'm there to help. Um, so in, in some ways, you know, she's kind of uh, well, she just plays. You know, to Tripp's brooding, kind of introverted um, uh, loner, she plays the kind of electrified um, go get her. I mean, she's got her whole, she's got her whole life planned out. I mean, she's got the track laid to get out of this town and get to college. She knows what she wants to do. She's unusual, I'd say, in this town. And uh, so those two rubbing together is a lot of fun. Amy Ryan came in to play Tripp's mom. And she just did a very emotional, beautiful, you know, mom stuck with this kid that's just trying to find his way. It's, it's a very painful time when kids are growing and, and, and leaving home and you want to make sure that they find what they want. You want them to be happy and Tripp's not happy at all. And she's a single mom and, you know, so she's struggling but she's also loves her kid and just wants to figure out what to do with him. So she does a great job at that. That's what I wanted. Uh, Danny Glover plays a fun, um, uh, uh, Danny Glover's a junkyard owner and Tripp works at his junkyard and so he's there as kind of probably the only um, uh, m significant male figure in Tripp's life, you know. Um, uh, Barry Pepper plays our local sheriff and he's also um, uh, Cindy Tripp's mom's boyfriend. So I mean, I mean, a great piece of just <clears throat> concept is that you know Tripp, the troublemaker, her mom's boyfriend is the sheriff. So there's tension that that starts right off there. People that are playing believable roles, and you throw them in a situation that is unbelievable, and you know they start to react the way you would react, and it's funny. So I think everybody really went in and put their arms around the um, each of their characters to make it as believable as possible, and then um, and went from there. I mean. Where does comedy come from? It's people put in difficult situations or surprised by things. And so, fortunately, a lot of the, a lot of the people that we cast are comedians in their own right. Thomas uh, Lennon is, is a comedian. You know, Rob Lowe is a comedian. Um, people that I didn't expect to be comedians. Barry Pepper is an amazing um, comic timing. Jane Levy has amazing comic timing. Um, and even, even Lucas Till, who's just a great, he's just a great young actor, knew when it was time to play broad comedy and when, when it was time not to. The movie isn't about a monster truck in an arena. It's about a kid that's trying to build a truck and, and um, that meets uh, creature along the way and tries to hide it and you know by uh, a bunch of different circumstances it, it, it 
learns to inhabit this truck. It's at the end of the day, in the co kind of coarse parlance of Hollywood, it's 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 a little bit of E.T. meets Fast and Furious. When I took this idea about a kid that had a truck, I tried to elevate it. I tried to make it, you know, it's an older kid. He's got problems that older people will, will understand, but younger people will aspire to. You know, I want to understand what that older kid's going for, because I think he's cool. I want to be like him. And so I thought, well, you know, this will give me an opportunity to do something that would be creatively satisfying to me. You know, a darker character that finds their way in, in, in the world, and that'll be emotionally satisfying. Along the way, you know, the story became much more universal. You know, all of my instincts about, you know, how dark and cool it could be became things that were like, just, you know, well, kids will like this, they'll think it's funny. You know, parents will like this because it's, it's, it's believable. You know, and, and at the end of the day, there's a lot of heart in, in the middle of this that people can't ignore. So, you know, it's just, it's just become something that I think is an all audience movie. When I think about who would, will watch it, I mean, there's big action for dads and, and boys and, and there's funny, cute girl and a kind of a scary, but then kind of cute creature for girls and for moms. There's like, there's a great message and it's a great fun ride uh, for everybody. Hey Lisa here now, keeping with animation, did you know that the movie Iron Giant almost became a musical? Hmm. It eventually became one criminally underrated sci-fi story, but anyway, Iron Giant was almost a musical from the Who's lead guitarist, Pete Townsend. Now Townsend had been working for years on an adaptation of the same novel upon which the movie was based, The Iron Man, planning a concept album to be released alongside it. His producing partner thought animation might be better and successfully pitched the story to Warner Brothers, with Townsend staying on to executive produce. Hmm, interesting. Now have you seen The Iron Giant? Would you have seen the musical if it eventuated? Hmm. Let me know in the comments below and remember to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date on all things animation.